Good morning. Hi guys, it's Natalie here. How are you going this morning? Um, I'm just trying to get my iPad up and running so I can see what's going on here in front of us. And oh god, turning down the volume. Um, oh, no. There we go. Beautiful. Comments on. Okay. So I just thought I would pop in this weekend. We have got the Great Australian Craft Show starting today uh, out online, of course, uh, as we are all still slightly limited to what we can be doing. So I thought that, good morning, Bronwyn. How are you going, darling? Um, so I thought that I would offer you guys some fantastic specials over the next four days and come in like I did last month and show you some fantastic tips and tricks to do with card making and scrapbooking and a few different things that you can do. So hopefully you can all see me on screen um, and you can all hear me okay. Can someone give me a, a bit of a thumbs up if you can hear me? Hey, Kathy, good morning. Hey, Brian, beautiful. So I've got a bit of a lag here, of course, on the live Facebook. Um, but this morning, what I thought I would do is show you some really cool watercolour tips and tricks. Uh, so I'm going to, these are the, um, what are they called? I can't, I can never pronounce it. Koanor Brilliant Watercolours. So I have decided to do a little bit of a special for the next four days. These little travel watercolour discs are super brilliant colours and... I'm going to do them on special, uh, a show special for the weekend. Normally they're $15 a set and I'm going to knock them down to 10 bucks for the set. There's actually two sets available. I've got plenty of this one and there's actually a, a triple set with uh, an extended color palette. They are normally 20 bucks and I've got those down to $10 as well. So first in best dress on those. But I thought I'd show you some really cool and quick, not technical, ways of using watercolours to make three simple cards. So I'm going to make a bit of a start. Good morning, Kerry ann How are you, love? So what I like about these is that you get it. This is a lovely little 12 set. The colours are absolutely gorgeous. So this is what my little swatch looks like. And uh, I'm going to, in front of me, uh, just off camera, I've got some water, I've got some paper towel, and I've got a couple of paintbrushes. Uh, and I've got a, a water brush as well. So I'm going to be using all of these. Uh, I've got these on special as well. These are currently uh, the water brushes were $14 down to $9. And that's a three pack. So there's three different sizes in that one. And then I also have a single one available as well. Um, not a whole lot of discount on those but these are $4.50 instead of $5. So you'll find those on the website under on nataliemay.com.au and I've just added a little header called Show Specials. So what I'm going to do to start with, when you get watercolours like this, they're dry, they're dry pans. So what I like to do first up is grab some paper towel Paper towel is a crafter's friend and I'm just going to use my water spray and just wet them so that I have got them activated and ready to go. So what I'm going to do is I've got uh, some, little, some little bits and pieces prepped off to the side here to show you and I'm going to show you three really fun and easy techniques. The stamps and stencils online this weekend are 15% off. I got a, for those eagle-eyed people, I had a shipment arrive yesterday, finally, from uh, Stencil Girl. Unfortunately, it took a little bit of a holiday in the States and um, was very, very delayed. But the order is in now. So you'll find those all online under Stencil Girl and they're 15% off as well. But I've got a good range of stamps, including lawn form. So I want to show you what to do with this little guy here. This is uh, the little You Colour My World stamp. And I want to 
create a bit of a background on my card as well as color in some pre-stamped images here. So I'm using a 300 GSM watercolor paper here. The reason I wanna use a, a watercolor paper is because I'm using water and I'm using watercolor paints. So I have got the, this is the actual pad that I'm using. It is the Express It watercolor pad. Um, Australian company, big thumbs up to that. Uh, and it is a, this is an A4 pack. So normally $16, I'm putting them out on special this weekend, 12 bucks. Gotta love that. So uh, that is a pad of 15 sheets. So what I so what I wanna do is I've got a bit of an idea here that I want to pre-stamp some crayons uh, and I'm going to, I just want some dripping down colors here. So before I start, I just want to test my watercolors. So I've just got a scrap bit of card here. Let's just have a look and see what we're working with. I've got this beautiful yellow. So I like to use a decent amount of water. Oh, that's nice and bright. Rinse off my brush. Start again. Beautiful, lovely orange. And I want to add a red. So it doesn't take much just to do a little test to make sure that what you're using is exactly what you want to be using. It doesn't, I know that makes sense, but um, if you do a little swatch, so I've just established that I don't want to use that dark green because that is way dark. So I'm going to choose one of these blues. Beautiful. Simple primary colors that I'm going to work with. And what else have I got here? I've got a purple. Gosh, they're so bright. What's this color here? Oh, that's a darker blue. That's really nice. And this one is brown, super intense brown. And black. All right. So I've established what colors I'd like to use and what order I'm going to work them in as well on my... I know, they're super vibrant, Bron. Um, and I'm, I'm not doing anything fancy and special here other than, as you can see, just swishing them around. So I'm going to do a vertical card and I'm going to start with my yellow. And I'm being just getting a nice little swish up here and I'm going to start like so. And I'm just dipping it straight back into the water and I want to grab something here. I'm going to do, give it a little bit of a drip. Beautiful, look at that. I'm just going to go up the top, take it off the page. Now, the cool thing about watercolour paper is the water only goes where you want it to. So, as you can see, I'm tipping it up here. I've got a bit of a drip and I really need to just guide it down just a fraction like so. Now, because they're watercolours, they're not going to take long to dry. And this is a super heavy duty paper as well. So before I do add my neck to heat gun, just to dry off that little edge. So sorry if I get a little bit of a freeze frame going on here, guys. The weather in Adelaide today is pretty ordinary. Uh, I've got, and, and I've got Trevor and Jessica at home, both of them today with head colds. So um, naturally, you know, they're dying. Bless their cotton socks. So internet use is at a premium. So I'm just going to guide that down. I mean, I can let that naturally drip, but, you know, I'm a control freak and I can't. So I'm just going to push that into there. So the next colour that I wanted to use was the red. I'm going to put that in the middle. And I know that I've got two more colours that I want to put in. So, so the thing with watercolours is you've got to watch the bleed. So you can see what's happening. The colours are bleeding into each other here. And especially with reds, you've got to watch that it's not a bit of a bloodbath. Man bowler. Yeah, pretty much. No, look, I think this is probably the first sick day that Trevor's taken off in about four years, to be honest. He's um, he's not much of a one for taking off a, pulling a sickie, I can tell you. 
Okay, next color I wanna do, I don't wanna put green next because if I put green next to red, it's gonna make brown. So I want to go with this beautiful blue. Now this, this color here is a bit pu super punchy, so I might just dry a little bit of that red so I don't get too much bleed. There we go, that's a bit better. And push that up there. And you can see how that bled straight into that straight away. So this is not supposed to be hard. The whole idea here is to make, to create something quick and simple. Um, I've got that dripping down there. Now, if I do have a bit of a bleed going on, like I do up here, I can just grab a little bit of paper towel or the whole sheet as the case may be, there we go. And just control that a little bit. So now I'm just gonna go back with that blue. All right, push that into there. And the last color I wanna do is green. Oh, and that blue's just having a heart attack there. All right. Drip, drip, drip. And I'm just going to pop this away off camera and let this dry. Uh, and I could, I could hit it with the heat gun, but there's no need to do that. I'm just gonna let that sit and drip, sit and color there. And then I have pre-stamped some of these little guys. So these are $8 less 15%. Um, I don't do maths, I make pretty things, so you guys figure that out. <laughs> um, so I'm going to use a thin brush and now just give those a really, really loose bit of colour and pop those off to the side. So I need a yellow one, an orange one. So yeah, these, these are beautiful watercolours and they're perfect for those of you who might be travelling if you, not that anyone, any of us are traveling, but um, you know the drill. If you are planning a, a, a caravanning trip, you want to do a little bit of hotel room. 680, thank you, um, Tina. $6.80 for this little stamp set, very cool. Um, yes, you could easily just throw these in your handbag and take on a plane eventually. <laughs> um, oh, that blue is divine you can very very easily do a lot with these guys so over the weekend um, over the next four days I'm also going to be doing some other little demos so I'm also going to do a scrapbook page and an art journal page using watercolors as well just to show you how versatile they are so make sure you pop back and check those out all right so I'm going to pop those aside to dry and uh, while they are drying there I want to show you how to do another quick card, how to do a bit of a wash on a background and use a die cut over the top. So what I'm going to do this time is do some simple lines. So let's stick with the this rainbow sort of theme. So I've got my water brush pen and I'm just going to paint it on just like so. So something important with watercolours, when you are working with watercolours, you need to have a clean water source handy to keep your brush nice and clean. Also have some paper towel handy. I really think that it's a, uh, it's, it's kind of vital to, to keep your, your work area clean when you're working with watercolours. I could also tape this to my glass mat uh, and in hindsight, that would have been a brilliant thing to do, but you know, that's okay. Let's be honest, it's not a priority today. So I'm going to just get those colours on there, like so. And now just with a plain wet brush, I'm just going to push those colours into it. So we're getting a little bleed, which is perfect. I do want those colours to bleed into each other. But I'm also going to control it just by lifting my paper. And now I'm going to add that other blue. Which one was that one? Was it this one? No, that's green. 
here we go. This one here. Oh, look at that. Straight in there. So this is not a hard thing to be doing, but the difference is, is this beautiful watercolor paper. The watercolor paper makes a huge, a huge difference to, to how your, uh, your product looks when you're done. So if I was to use just normal flat cardstock, uh, it, it would soak in a bit quicker. It's not going to give me the flexibility to move the colors around. So just pushing those colors into each other like that. What I'm actually gonna do is gonna go back and add a little bit more depth to this red here because that's gone a little bit darker than I would like. But it doesn't matter because what I'm actually going to do in a moment is blend them all together. All right, so now I'm going, I could hit that with the heat gun, but I'm gonna let that sit and dry as well and quickly show you a third card because, you know, I'm totally an overachiever on this. Um, what I did, you know how I mentioned that stencils are on special? This little guy I used a couple of months ago to show you some blending and I've ordered these in again. So these are a gorgeous little stencil. So $13 less your 15%. And I used some modeling paste, which is, and, and ran it over the top with my catalyst tool. Remember how I use my fabulous catalyst tool to, to spread that over the top. So my go-to tool for, um, crafting. Uh, so this is on plain cardstock, not watercolour paper. And I just wanted to show you that it can certainly work. You don't have to use watercolour paper, but I used the stencil, ran it over the top, popped it aside to dry. And what I want to do now is add some, myself some clean water here. And I want to do a bit of a drippy technique on this one. So using the watercolours, 1105. <laughs> Thanks, Tina. I'm, you, you're my go-to girl. Um, all right, so I think I might do something in the blues this time. So I'm going to start with this blue, which is super bright. And I'm going to get that on there and just let that drip down. So what's happening is the watercolour is going to pull in and around stenciling. So now I'm going to add in another colour. So this is the other blue and just let that drip down. So this is more of a mixed media style of card. And you can imagine how awesome this would look on a scrapbook page, this technique as well. And you can see that moving and dripping and catching. I'm just going to bring it up to the camera and hopefully that works. And that is looking pretty good. So I can add a little bit of this beautiful green and you can see that I'm sticking with colors that are alongside each other on the color wheel so that I'm not going to make brown. And the water's not going over here yet because that's I'm not tilting it that way. I'm happy to have a little bit of white space. Um, appreciating a little bit of white space is everything because white gives balance and makes your project work beautifully. And I'm looking pretty happy with that. Uh, might just give it a little bit of black for depth. So these little watercolor palettes, as you can see, 10 bucks, super intense. They're a very good brand. They've, this um, company has been around for a very long time. And the reason why I have got them out on a special is because I've got quite a few of them in stock. Um, so jump on it. Alrighty. So gonna, that's looking pretty great. I'm going to pop that aside and come back to my first one. That hasn't dried because it is freezing cold in the studio. So I'm just going to hit that with the heat tool. I'm going to pop the lid back on these guys because I don't need to use these again. And my little crayons as well. So they are, whoops, hot. 
Well, that didn't go to plan, did it? But there we go. Good morning, Andy. I see you watching. Happy birthday for yesterday, bro. Because you totally needed public shout out. Um, <laughs> all right. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab some of the silicon tape. So silicon tape, uh, I've, a lot of you have seen me use, like, use this before. This is a really cool product because it is a clear silicon tape and it's three dimensional. So it has some body to it, which means that it gives a, you know, you're not gonna see it come up on your page. Um, <laughs> oh, he's gonna love that. Um, okay, so what I'm gonna do is pop a little bit of this tape on the back of my pre-cut out crayon. So I can't remember if I mentioned it before, if you are, I'm gonna put these on angles, which is just gonna mess with my head because it's not my thing, but. Um, when I'm stamping, you gotta, with, and working with watercolors and mixed media, you need to make sure that you are using a black archival ink because it is waterproof and it is not going to run when you add your liquid. Uh, so you need to make sure there's a couple of little things that, a couple of little tips that you start to learn over time that you need to remember, such as, as a waterproof ink, if you're using a waterproof ink. Uh, sorry, using water with a project. Um, so this silicon tape, I have got plenty of this in stock at the moment and it's really inexpensive. I do recommend if you do purchase it, leaving the little tail on because it is so sticky, it is a little bit of a pain in the pants, pain in the ass to get the red off it. So I tend to leave that lovely little tail hanging off it so that I can um, easily work with it. Whoops. One goes there and the blue one goes there. Stick, 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 stick. So what this also needs is once it is 100% dry in a minute is I will add a sentiment to here and do a black doodling line around the outside and uh, that will finish off the card quite nicely. So quick and simple and easy. I've actually used this stamp set using uh, in an art journal before. So I will find that art journal and add that, add some photos up in a moment as well. Uh, and that was a really fun art journal page. So quick and easy card using the watercolors and the Lawn Fawn stamp set, which these are out 15% off. So I'll finish that one off camera shortly. Coming back to this guy here. So my, cause I left it on a bit of an angle, it bled a little bit with uh, off, off camera um, so I could dry it all off but I'm just going to be lazy and do that just take that wetness off of it and adding something to this uh, I've got most of you know that I stock a good range of scrap effects products these are the silhouettes and I absolutely love these these are so easy to use because they are a thin die cut ready to go. So now that I have created this background, um, I might trim that down, use that on a page. I can cut out this guy and layer it over the top. I could also do some stamping and put that over the top as well. Um, so I'll finish this card off camera as well, but that looks, that looks great. And once I add a sentiment to it, this little bleed here isn't gonna show up at all. So um, the colors have not lost their vibrancy at all off camera, I can tell you right now. That's full on. Okay, last one. Back to this guy here. This is the one that I'm gonna finish on camera to show you how awesome it looks. So I'm just gonna hit it quickly with the heat tool. Paper towel just to take off the puddles because I'm impatient. And just run my heat tool over that. Okay, so this one here is, there's lots of things I can add to this. So I've got here a one of the um, scrap effects butterflies. So that is that would be just amazing, sitting on the top just like that. Um, but I'm not gonna take that one out of the packet. 
Um, I've also got these are uh, back in stock. Now, <laughs> these sold out last time in a day. And I received the rest of the order this week. So this is the wing book. And these are from Minte, so straight from Poland. And these are a fussy cutter's dream, which means you've got to cut all of these beautiful little elements out. So the butterflies are divine. There's also a book on tags. There's also a frame book. There's a travel book. There is a junk book, which is full of little junk, junk journaling sort of elements, ephemera pieces. Uh, and they are and a, fl a floral book as well. So they are absolutely gorgeous. And I love that it's got a little budgie. I don't think I've ever seen a budgie on a pattern paper. Ha, <laughs> how cute. Uh, so they are pretty amazing. So I think there is like four of each page in the sheet. So I could cut out one of those butterflies, but nobody's got time for that. Uh, so I'm just going to use a transparency. So these are the $3 sheets from Scrap Effect. And how do you use them? Pull them out the bag and they're a clear sheet. Good morning, Jen. How are you, honey? Uh, so I'm just going to take one of these guys, which you probably can't see on camera because they look a bit crap. So I'll just put this down so you can see what I'm looking at. Um, and I want to choose a couple of butterflies here and cut these out. So these make quick and simple little embellishments to go on your card. So there we go. Love that little book of pretties. Actually, Jen, you know what? So do I, honey. And I had every intention of keeping a book for myself when the last order came in. Uh, but, you know, that never happened. Uh, so hopefully there might be a couple left this time. Oh, people always ask, do you cut out the antenna? Nope. I don't have the patience for that. Uh, and the cool thing is because it's a transparency, it doesn't matter if you don't cut it out perfectly. So, uh, if you jump online over the next four days, there's going to be lots of specials going up. So, the watercolour paints that I'm using, 20 bucks down to 10 bucks, or 15 bucks down to 10 bucks. Uh, the because there's the two different sizes. The watercolour pads are uh, they're going to be down to 12 dollars from 16. Uh, I'll be doing some other specials over the weekend. 15 and 15 and 15 percent sorry off uh stamps and stencils 15 percent off all paper collections including that little wing book uh 15 percent off oh, oh i've got 20 percent off boom gel so if anybody's into paint pouring um i'm no longer stocking it so there's quite there's a few still available uh for sale through the website what else have i got what else have I got? What else have I got? Anyway, so I'll be doing four, um, sorry, eight, eight demos on Facebook over the weekend. So there'll be uh, one in the morning, one in the afternoon, 10.30 Adelaide time or 11 a.m. Australian Eastern Standard. And me more waffling on. Um, what else is there? And hopefully over the weekend, I will have time to release my next online class. So for those of you who love a little bit of art journaling, keep an eye out for my next online class. Okay, so I've cut out three butterflies, which I nearly lost. And so here they are sitting here. So what I want to do is I've got to use that uh, silicon tape to put those on because the silicon tape is clear and the butterflies are clear. So I only need a little bit and this stuff is like ridiculous sticky. So I'm just using my tweezers. Oh, hang on. To 
stick that on the back in the center of the body. Oh my God. Here we go. Uh, and I want to pop him. Oh, look, it is not happening here. Hang on. It is so sticky. I can't get it off my finger. There we go. I'm going to pop him there. A um, couple of smaller bits for the little butterflies. Oh, that's way too big, but you know what? Let's commit to it. Oh, Lindy's. All the Lindy's stuff's 15% off. So this afternoon, I'm going to do a, um, a class, a little class here online with the Lindy's sprays. So I'm going to, because I've got another big juicy shipment of those in, um, and we did stock take over the weekend. So there's quite a few colours available, which is great. But I, I will be doing a quick little project with those this afternoon. So make sure you pop back at 1.30 Adelaide time, 2 o'clock Australian Eastern Standard. Beautiful. All right. And I'll do a little, another little messy page, hopefully, if my internet wants to do its thing. So, quick and easy little card front. I'll cut that down a little, um, add a sentiment to it. And we've got three quick cards that I have done in half an hour. Uh, the only thing I'm going to do to finish them off is, like I said, just trim them off, add some black doodling and a sentiment to them. So, just to recap, we have used the Express It Aqua Watercolour pad was 16 now down to 12 we have used the Koenor brilliant watercolors so a couple of sets available there and these are ten dollars weekend special I also used the dun, 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 see I can't find anything on my desk now the paint brushes so I used the aqua brushes as well so these are also on special so we have got this set here was 14 now down to nine dollars get on it um stencils stamps look under the heading of stencils stencil girl there's a heap of really cool stencils there that just came in and i also had a bit of a play with these guys too so make sure that you to make the most of it um i will be doing like i mentioned finishing my cards off with some doodling and some bits and pieces using the pilot drawing pen this is a waterproof archival kick-ass pen get on it um so nataliemay.com.au and i look forward to seeing you all back here this afternoon at about yeah 1 2 o'clock um, all going to plan so oh the other thing I want to mention I'm not going to ship or do any of my postage until Monday so if you see something over the weekend and you want to add to you you add to the order um, just put in your comments please add to order previous order um, and select pickup so you don't have to pay postage twice so then that way you can buy all the things because I know you're going to want to buy some of the stuff that I'm going to show you later because um, catch you soon. Bye.